it's not a dream, it's a memory. And it makes me sick. I deserve my bitter tears. Want some? I have not come back to Wonderland looking for a fight. It seems following furry creatures into dark holes has become a habit. Hope it's not a vice. Hi guys. So I'm going to be doing a look and this time I was, it's sort of a Halloween look if you're going to be um, Alice, but not just Alice. Very twisted Alice. This is from the game Alice Madness Returns. And I really love that game. That's like one of my favorite games. I never really was into Alice in Wonderland, but because of this, I kind of am now. So I just thought I'd recreate. Recreate? What the heck? I, so I thought I would just recreate the look from the game. And it just looks like this. It's like very like dark, smoky eyes. It kind of looks bright because I have like the windows open and I just got blurry. And yeah, this is a look I really wanted to do. I was almost going to be Alice for for Halloween, but I'm somebody else, so but you'll see when I do cuz uh I am going to be wearing my costume in an upcoming video. So yeah, so this is a look I have created. So if you guys want to see how I did this, then just keep watching. Okay, so I just put on my eyeshadow primer and in case anybody's curious, I use the L'Oreal Decrease. So I'm going to take a black eyeshadow, I'm just using this one from the CoverGirl Eye Enhancers. I'm going to take a flat eyeshadow brush and just going to apply this on the eyelid. Now in the look, it kind of looks like she has um, a bit of purple and red in it, so I'm going to use both. So I'm going to take my e.l.f. 100 eyeshadow palette. And I'm going to open it. And then I'm going to take this purple right here. And I'm going to use an e.l.f. crease brush. I mean, no, this is not e.l.f., this is Sony Kashuk. And I'm going to apply this right on the crease, right above where we just applied the black. Yeah, with a different brush, if you could use the same one if you would like, I'm going to use, well, this red right here. Use this one's very pigmented. And I'm going to apply this sort of above the purple. So then I'm just going to take this angled contour brush from e.l.f. I'm going to blend out the color. Now I'm just going to go back with the black just to put on the lid. Now I'm just going to take a highlight color for the brow bone and I'm going to take this very bright one. It's not really a, a white, it's just like a very light creamy color. Also, the color was kind of really high, so this highlight color is going to sort of diffuse the red. There, is that better? Okay, now I'm just going to take the black one more time, and I'm going to apply this onto the lower lash line. Take the purple and red again. First, starting off with the purple, I'm going to go over that. And then with the red. Now this is optional, but I'm going to line my eyes. I'm not going to wing it out or nothing. I'm just going to line them with a liquid eyeliner pen. And then I'm going to take a black eyeliner, both the inner rim and the, the upper and lower inner rims, or water lines or whatever you want to call them. And now I'm just going to curl my lashes. I'm going to apply this mascara. I have Rimmel London's Lash Accelerator. Dang it, look at all my stuff are like getting all run and beat up. Now lastly for the cheeks, I'm just going to lightly um, bronze my face using my Fisher's Formula Bronze Booster. I'm just gonna like really feather this on. It 
And now lastly for the lips, I'm just going to go with the red color. I'm just going to apply a red lipstick very lightly and I'm using um, L'Oreal's Color Riche in True Red. And that's it for the makeup. So that's it for my video. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And until then, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. If you can't be strong, at least be smart. I know I might not have the perfect accent, but I don't know. It's fun. Now that I said that, she's probably going to come and watch me.